or greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, thanks for all the great comments on my previous video, which was the uh, the holiday um, in Wales video. I'm now back in the house, and uh, I've got another sort of sort of another week off before I need to sort of get back to work. Um, so I decided I'm going to take up a second hobby. As you may know, my first hobby is astrophotography, but unfortunately I can generally, on average, only get out uh, in the garden and look at the stars probably two, maybe three nights every month if I'm lucky. The rest of the time we've got cloud cover and I can't do it. So I figured, what can I do that, uh, you know, on the nights where I can't go out and look at the stars? And uh, so anyway, I started, well, quite a few weeks ago, to be honest, I started looking around for new ideas and I stumbled into another world which I originally thought was going to be out of my reach. I thought the equipment was way too expensive um, and it was kind of um, uh, something I wasn't going to be able to engage with for at least a couple of years. And we're talking about a new technology that's kind of a fledgling technology that's still in its early development stages. But I kind of find the idea of it fascinating and I think it's... Uh, uh, a really good idea. Uh, it's something I've, I've wanted to get into for a long time, but I've just been waiting and waiting for the technology to A, become a bit cheaper, and B, to get a bit better. Um, anyway, I uh, stumbled across a couple of videos on YouTube and I thought, oh, uh, it's kind of come along better than I thought. So anyway, I've taken the plunge. And uh, oh, let me show you, uh, before you is <laughs> a kit. This is an assembly of parts which I have to build uh, and turn into essentially a machine. And this machine uh, is going to be a 3D printer. And uh, I, I was under the impression they were thousands of pounds. This kit was 200 pounds. And uh, it's supposed to be one of the, the better ones on the market. It's supposed to be a high quality, high definition one. And it is the kit that uh, most beginners go for. There's loads and loads of support uh, out there on the web um, because this particular model uh, is the one that all the beginners go for. So uh, this is the uh, Annette A8. Um, Annette spelt that way. It's a Chinese uh, 3D uh, printer and they say it's about six hours to build so for this evening I'm going to sit here make a start on it I'm not actually expecting to finish it today but I'm going to make a start on it on the big screen I've got all the instructions uh, it came with a little um, QR code that you put that in and it comes up on YouTube with a, a YouTube video with the instructions so I'm going to sit here drink my fizzy water and uh, listen to my music and I'm just going to kind of chill out for the evening and start putting this thing together. So wish me luck. I'm not going to film it because I don't want to uh, don't want to rush it. I'm going to take my time and get on with it. So I don't really want to focus on filming and nattering to the camera. Um, but I will. Uh, I'm, actually, I might do it as a time lapse. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll get a camera running and I'll film it as a time lapse. But obviously, there won't be any talking through it. Um, but wish me luck, and I will catch you at the other end of the build. Uh, in uh, where we will go on and maybe see whether we can do a test run on it. That'd be good.
Well, good morning. Uh, it is the next morning and I spent about four hours on this last night and uh, it's about just over halfway finished and so far it's looking good. It's gone together pretty well, pretty easily. Now at first when I saw all the parts for it, I, I was a little intimidated by it, it looked quite scary. But following the video step by step, just constantly pausing the video and just literally doing it uh, step by step, uh, so far it's actually been very easy to build. Um, there were a few tiny little issues, like for example on some of the um, some of these plates, they were missing holes. Uh, so I had to get a little bit creative with a drill and uh, make my own fastening holes. Uh, I think that's just more of a, a manufacturing mistake than anything else. I'm pretty sure I, can, I was doing it right. Um, but uh, anyway, so there we go. So we've got basically got the, uh, the, the, the main bed down. Although that sounds a little bit, I'm not sure it's supposed to sound like that. Anyway, I shall iron out those floors uh, when we come to running it. But one thing I have to say is I'm really glad that I've actually built this from scratch because I now fully, well I say fully, I now understand what everything does and uh, how everything works. So if I need to make any adjustments or repairs or anything, um, I'm in a much, much better position to understand what I'm doing simply by the act of learning how to put this together. Um, if I'd have bought one straight out of the box um, and anything needed doing on it, I would have really, probably really struggled. Um, but like I say, because I built this thing, you know, from scratch, um, it, it, is a, it was a really, really good education in how these things work. Um, so I would recommend if you're going to get into this sort of thing, um, buying it in kit form and building it, it's really, really educational. So anyway, I'm not going to natter on anymore for now. I'm going to carry on finishing this. I shall uh, carry on filming it on the little uh, GoPro up there. And uh, I will get back to you when it's finished. So here we are, it is finished, or hopefully is finished. Haven't switched it on yet. The build took about six hours and none of it was difficult. There were a few little bits where you had to use a little bit of common sense and a little bit of lateral thinking, but for the most part, uh, it was actually fairly straightforward. If you've ever built anything with Meccano and you've been able to kind of follow uh, the instructions, that's what it was like and uh, it it's, looks quite good. Um, it looks incredibly complicated when you get around to here, but again, it's just a case of, you know, just one wire at a time, plug it in, and uh, make sure everything, uh, you know, fits into the, the, the right socket that it was designed for. And uh, I did originally put the bed on back to front. This, this thing was at this end, uh, so I had to take that off and uh, turn it around. But, I'm now going to switch it on. There's, there's um, uh, a setup that you've got to do on it. And uh, first things first, I'm going to uh, plug it in and switch it on and see what happens. So, it's alive. Welcome to Omni. I can hear the little fan going already. Okay, uh, so I think um, there's a a thing you gotta do. Uh, I can't. There we go. Quick start. Quick settings. Okay, and home all. Right. You ready for this? Let's see what happens. If anything. Ah. Ooh. It's doing a thing. <laughs> that means I built something. And it actually works. Well, it seems to be. Um, well, it's doing a bit of a juddery thing. These these screw threads are pretty stiff. I'm not quite sure why. 
And there's, I'm not sure it's supposed to make that sort of noise. Um, right, there we go. So that's that's hit the Z uh, cutoff switch, and the nozzle's quite high up in the air. So what I've got to do now is uh, I've got to faff around, and I'm going to follow this video. I'm not going to, not going to film that because it's going to be uh, pretty dull. But uh, I shall come back to you when it's all up and running, and hopefully I'm going to have a go at test printing. Shut up. Alexa, stop. Um, I'm going to hopefully, uh, hopefully when I come back to you, I'm going to be doing a test print, but we'll see. So uh, wish me luck. There you go. You can sort of see uh, what it's attempted. Um, so there we go. We've actually got the makings of a 3D print there. So I'm quite impressed as opposed to that one, which was my first effort. <laughs> So, let me set this up one more time, and I should hopefully be in business and we can print out a proper thing. Oh, hello. It's going up in the air. Oh, it's coming down again. There we go. It's printing it on the edge. Pretty, um, it's quite big actually. Okay, it's nearly done. Uh, it's taken just over four hours and it's currently on 99%. So uh, it does take a long time to do this printing malarkey. So I'm gonna have to be very careful about the things I choose because some of the things uh, are gonna take, you know, all day, possibly all day and all night. Um, so I've got to decide a, where I can put this in order to run it, um, you know, perhaps if it's going late at night. Um, I was gonna, put it in the spare bedroom upstairs but the more I read about these particular uh, 3D printers the more I get a little bit concerned about the whole safety thing um, apparently these power supplies kind of get maxed out and uh, they get a bit hot and there have been some incidents where uh, there have been some sort of meltdowns and some fires and things so obviously I'm not really keen on the idea of leaving it running sort of overnight while I'm asleep or unattended um, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, another thing you can get is something called a, a MOF set, which is a, a little external switching unit um, because a lot of the power from the power supply actually goes into heating up this bed. This bed is actually warm. It's quite hot, actually. And uh, that's where a lot of the issues occur. And by fitting this little MOF set thing, it's just a, a little safety thing where you're not getting so much voltage running through the circuit board. So you haven't got the risk of um, uh, burning it out. Anyway, I'm going to look into all that sort of stuff and uh, see if I can make it a little bit um, safer and maybe even get a second power supply to run uh, the, the heat bed. I'm still sort of looking into that at the moment. Um, but anyway, it's all early days yet. Uh, like I say, this is literally just its first test run. And I've just printed. This is a 360 degree air distributor that goes around the nozzle. So that's the beauty of 3D printers. You actually print your own upgrades uh, to upgrade the machine. So that literally you start off with a basic bit and then um, you, you print all these extra bits that actually make the machine better. Um, so how cool is that? Now the theory is I should be able to take this off the bed and literally plug it straight in. So that little nozzle you see there, a little white nozzle, uh, this will be a replacement for that. And this thing here uh, is a little button, a thumb protector that goes onto this little uh, 
screw thing here which you have to push down with your thumb and it really hurts because there's a really powerful spring underneath it um, and that's where you put the filament in and i'm just just noticed i'm almost out of filament so that's kind of worked out well um, so i'm pleased about that i was wondering whether or not i'd have enough filament and uh, so i think from for the next print so i'm going to be using uh, this stuff i bought a 100 meter roll of it so that should last a good while hopefully That's it, job done. Like the way it goes home afterwards. Stepper disabled, there we go. Right, that's gonna be hot, isn't it? Yeah, that's not too bad. So let's bring it forward. There we go. So, the question is now, uh, how am I gonna get this up? There we go, there's one. So I'll have to peel that bit off. That's that's just the uh, the little bit that uh, holds it down to the bed. That little flange there, and the same here. Uh, so the idea is that the air blows in from this fan here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut that off, um, and then that should fit uh, against there. you can see that there's just the right gap underneath there so I say that is a success and of course the other thing we printed was this and this is the little thumb thing that goes on there and it's just a question of popping it in on there and hey presto we're sorted so we now have uh, a thumb thingy and then I need to push this down and put it straight up there we go hopefully that's done it that's the melted end. So there we go. That's 3D printing. Uh, I'm not going to start anymore tonight. It's 8 o'clock tonight. Um, I, I do want to build um, some more add-ons for this, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow because I don't want to leave it unattended overnight because it's going to take quite a few hours to do each one. Um, but there we go. That's my little delve into the world of 3D printing. No doubt I'll be doing some more bits and pieces on it. Uh, as and when I get the time. If you've got any ideas or suggestions or if you do 3D printing yourself uh, do feel free to leave any tips, advice or, or um, anything in the notes below or any links or anything. Um, that would be awesome. Okay, that's it from me guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. <laughs>